Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode on the Just Craft World. Today is episode 5 and as you can see I changed the design of this again. I didn't quite like how the trapdoors looked. But also we've got the entire villager trading hall full. I added this guy to the collection. Not him, sorry. I think it's this guy. Yeah, he's got Fortune 3 book. I've not traded with him yet. And I've also got another farm that does pumpkins and melons. So, yeah, the villager trading hall is finally complete. But we're going to be moving away from villagers this episode because I want to fight the wither in this episode. Because I need a beacon. I really want to move out of this base. I think we're fastly outgrowing it. Obviously, we've we've run out of uh, the majority of space that we've got to build in here. We've, we've filled this area up. Obviously, the mine's down there. And, yeah, we're, we're slowly but surely going to outgrow this place. We're going to need a bigger storage system. As you can see, most of these chests are filled up the majority of them anyway we're gonna need to get a beacon and i'm probably gonna have to go mining at some point soon because that's looking a bit pathetic but we need a beacon to start working on the base because we need to mine out a lot of stone if i'm not mistaken yeah there's the nether fortress and i think i'm gonna try my best to flatten out the area where i can do so that it's easier to spot the wither skeletons oh here's some um there's quite a few of them actually. There's a blaze shooting at me from behind. And no with a skeleton skull there. There's one up there though. I can get him. So yeah, what I'm gonna try and do is gather up three of the skull heads so that we can fight the wither. It might take a bit of grinding, but we should be able to get them and then we can start well, mark out the bit. I don't want to start work on the base today, but we can mark out where it's going to go. I think I've found the perfect spot for it in the forest, uh, in the jungle, sorry. And I think the end product of this base is going to be really, really cool. Ah, there we go. There's this first one. We've got one already. That only took, I think, about five. Let me check the statistics. Six. That took six with the skeletons to get. To get just the one. Which isn't bad actually. I thought it was going to take a lot longer to get this first one. No, 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 no. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, thank God for them. Jesus. I thought I was dead. He dropped a wither skeleton skull though. Oh, where where did I kill him? Where the where did I kill him? Where where did I drop off? I think it was right there. Oh Jesus Christ, and there's more, there's more. Can I not have a moment's peace, please? Oh, I thought I were dead. Oh. And there's the third one. Right, we've got three of them. We have three wither skeleton skulls. I think it's time we can get out of here, and thank God for that. Now we can fight the wither. And... We can get a beacon. I'm, oh, I'm so bloody in shock. I'm actually shaking. My hands are shaking. I thought I was going to die. I thought I was going to lose all my armour and stuff. Back through the nether portal. I am so thankful that adventure is over. I think we can empty out all of this crap into that chest. Right, I'm going to take my elytra off for this fight. And I'm going to put it in my weapons chest. Got some food. I don't think we'll need any potions. I see a lot of people making potions for this kind of stuff. But I don't think we're going to need any. I think we should be alright with our golden carrots right now. As long as we do it correctly, so I'm going to go down to the mine and I'm going to set up a tunnel and I'm gonna show, I'll show you how often I'm going to fight him. So the way I'm going to do this is by just making a strip mine across here for about 100 blocks and then I'll place him in the end and then hopefully he shouldn't be able to hit us. He'll target us but he shouldn't be able to hit us and then we can obviously like just shoot at him from a distance with the bow and then when it gets time with the sword 
that's my plan it should work if not then rest in peace me but hopefully it works if not i've obviously got some backup equipment i can quickly grab and come down with hopefully we don't have a repeat of what just happened in the nether Alright, I think this should be far enough away, so if we just dig a quick room right here, and then place him in, and then just... We ready? One, two, let me just make sure everything's gooch, like that, alright. Put my food in my offhand, and three, two, one. Oh, I've got to get a screenshot. I didn't quite get it. I didn't quite get it. I didn't quite get it. He's gonna blow. He's gonna blow. Alright, go. Shoot. Oh, where's he going? Where's he going? Gotta shoot his tail. There we go. This should be easy. Well, I don't want to say easy, but it should be easy. Then I've done it before. There's 10 blocks. I've only done it by 7. Oh. oh. Come on, he's, he's nearly dead, there we go, yeah we didn't need to go that far away, <sighs> right, that was that wasn't too bad, we got, we got the, we got the star, I'm gonna quickly light this place up so we've got no mobs spawning, but this is where we put him, he's found us some redstone, has he found us any diamonds, nope, just a whole lot of redstone. Yeah, that wasn't too bad actually. I thought it was going to be a lot harder. I'm going to gather up these uh, pieces of redstone while I'm here because I might as well. But now we've got the nether star which we can make a beacon with. And sooner rather than later set up the permanent base for the season. I don't think we're going to do it this episode. I think I might go over and mark out the area. But what I want to do is make some form of XP because what we'll get, we need a better source of XP than the skeleton farm. It served as well in the first five episodes, but um, it's not going to quite cut it long term. I think we're going to need a better source and what better place to do it than in the end. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make an enderman farm right right after we've marked out his area because we need a better source of experience. Now that's looking a little bit better as our ore stash. There's no diamonds in there, unfortunately, but it it'll do. It's better than um, it's better than just the two useless pieces of iron that was just sat in the middle. And this is completely obviously filled. There's no hollow pieces in there. But yeah, we can uh, put these away for now. We're not gonna need need them just this second. But what we are going to need is quite a bit of smooth stone slabs so I'm gonna put them into the smelter I'm gonna need to put all this stone in the smelter I think and then we can make some smooth stone slabs so this is the area where I want to build my permanent base in this big pool of water right here and don't worry, I'm going to go around and I'm going to cover up all of the water. Um, yeah, I thought it'd be a bit easier to build in an area that's already cut, cleared out. It's not got all these trees, I'm not going to have to chop them all down. I might have to chop a few down because the radius of the base is going to be massive. And I'm going to mark it out just to give you guys a rough idea of the actual scale of this build. So this right here should be be the center of well roughly the center of the base that we are going to be building so i'm gonna put in his two we're not gonna be doing it now but i just wanted to get that set up so that we've got a indicator of where our base is and yeah that is gonna be the center of the base and then we're gonna have a big ring stretching around that so i'm gonna build that up now but i don't actually know if this is gonna be enough slabs to cover the parameter now hopefully this should give you the scale of the base that we are working with right here i think it's best shown the scale from above that's the area that we're working with and I think I did a pretty good job at estimating where the middle was. It's a bit off, so we might have to get rid of this little island right here. And 
I don't know, do some terraforming around to make the place look a little bit nicer. So we're still going to have to clear a bit out, but it's not nearly as much as it would be if I decided to plunk it in the middle of the jungle. Now, I'm not going to be doing anything more with the permanent base in this episode. What I am going to be doing, though, is heading back towards the end, which means another deadly trip through the nether, because I want to create an Enderman XP farm before we get on with the base as... We're gonna, all I'm saying is we're gonna need to be mending our pickaxes up quite a bit. Alright, so this is everything that we should need for our ender ender. We're gonna need some blocks obviously, but we're gonna be using endstone and endstone bricks. So we're gonna get that from the actual end. I've just spent like the last hour or so designing a farm because it's the first time I've used it in Java Edition and it's different mechanics on PS4 Edition, but uh... I've sorted it all out, I know what I'm doing. This should be all our experience where it's over for, well, until we want to upgrade, but I don't think we will need to do that anytime soon. So this is where we're gonna build the farm, but we're gonna need to go out about 120 blocks so that we can get the maximum spawn rates that we can. But what we are going to need to do is build like a two tunnel, so we're gonna have to have it like that there. And then a block above, which will stop, hopefully, the Enderman from spawning inside of the tunnel here. And then we'll have water going across the top to prevent the Enderman from spawning. And I think that should look really cool. So I'm just going to have to get these blocks out and yeah, I'll be right back. But that is one scary look. Now, there'll be Endermen that have, yep, right there, that have spawned on this pathway. So we need to be careful not to get shoved off i've got my elytra on i've got some fireworks so if we do we should be okay but we need to fill in the top part of the bridge and with this bucket of water right here that should be the end of the extremely long water tunnel that i have created right here so this means that endermen won't spawn here because it's not tall enough for them and they won't spawn on the top either because of the water and obviously if they do end up walking onto the top they'll get damaged because they don't like water that much what we need to do now is build out this platform here and then we need to go about 43 blocks into the air i believe and basically build up the spawning platforms for the endermen okay so this is where we're going to be killing them obviously this is just a quick sort of demonstration but the enemy will fall down and we'll just swipe at their feet we hopefully we shouldn't be able to catch their eyes but once this is done they'll be on one hit so they'll fall down we'll just swipe our swords at them and then they should just perish now we actually need to create the spawning platform which is going to be about another 42 blocks in the sky i believe so that's one two three so about another 40 blocks or so i think that's the design that we're going to be going for for the falling tube simply because it saves on blocks for one and it also it looks cool because we don't have any glass so there's no way of actually seeing if anything is going to be falling through i just thought it'd be a really sort of cool design if i can actually get back up there that is uh, we can finish this thing off and we need to go all the way to why level 99? One thing I would like to mention is that this is Phil's design, not the farm, just the falling tube from his season, f well, whatever series is on now, I think it's series 4, his uh, first Enderman farm in that, and this was the design he went with, and I just thought it looked really cool, so I thought I'd just mention that now, in case any of you were wondering where I got my inspiration for the design from. So this is the drop tube all completed. Now we need to gather up some more endstone because we are, yeah, we're completely out of it. Basically, we've only got this much left. So we're going to need to go gather some more of that up and then we can start work on the spawning platforms. Let's, let's actually have a look at how this looks. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Let me just... Um, yeah, that, that's 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 looking really cool, actually. I just need to get rid of this pillar right here. So this is the drop shoot right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go off 13 blocks in each direction so that we have... 
basically maximum spawn rate for the enderman so yeah this thing has about 832 spawning spaces for the enderman and they'll all get attracted to this central point once I have the attraction mechanism in place. Do you guys like the longer episodes or would you prefer them to be smaller? Um, I know that I was a bit cautious about loading that one with the amount of time because it was 30 minutes long. I tried to cram too much into one episode. So do you guys prefer them longer or shorter? I'd like to um, hear your feedback in the comments. All right, so as I was building this, I realized that I don't actually have the endermite in place, which isn't the best thing. I mean, the sides are all lit up, but I ran out of torches and I got over here, so I'm going to need to do this quickly. I've got about two stacks of ender pearls, and I'm hoping this will be enough. Yeah, let's give this a try. I guess we should put the uh, trapdoors down first. If you don't know what the trapdoors are for, it's... It, tricks the enderman into thinking that they can walk over to the point of interest the endermite so the way we need to do this is to do this and then not fall down there that would be nice in case of selves and then we need to put two things down a mine car and then we need to just start throwing ender pills at the floor which may take a bit of damage off us Oh, there we go. There's there's this guy. So, well, he's in the minecart, which is not what we wanted. We need to uh, we need to name tag him first. So, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to break the minecart. He's having a seizure in there. We need to break the minecart. Gonna call him on. There we go. On. Uh, that's an inside joke between me and my friends. If you don't quite get it, uh, basically I had. A friend who kept mispronouncing my other mate's name and he kept saying Owen. Right, we need to put him in the minecart. There we go, he's in. And then we need to bounce, we need to get out of here. Can get rid of all these blocks now. Can't get rid of the one that he's on top of, which I'm meant to build out of ends. Meant to build out of this end stone, but uh, it'll have to do. But this, in theory, should be the farm complete. Now I just need to make sure it is all working. And to do that, we need to get rid of all these torches. And as soon as some go, we should start seeing endermen spawning on opposite sides of the platform. And they should start aggroing towards the minecart and killing the guy in there but um we'll see it better when we go down to the bottom we should start seeing them yep yep yeah it's working it's working so let me just line myself up here there we go yeah they're in they're in there and we should just be able to stand here and cover your ears there we go look at all them drops did you see the amount of XP we were getting there? Now we should see more come down, hopefully. So I think I'm going to AFK over here for a bit, and I'll come back once I have a few more levels. Alright, so at this point, I began to lose confidence in the farm, if you couldn't tell already. And do you remember how I built the thing out of netherrack? Well, turns out I forgot that ne Enderman can pick up netherrack. So that wasn't really the best situation to be in. So I've got the guy named Owen re, re, all fixed up and I need him now to get in that minecart and I'm gonna have to do it myself aren't I? Get in the minecart bro, get in the minecart, there we go, all right. Now I want him, I want him on the opposite block, that'd be nice. Oh, this is very bad. Jesus Christ, I am, I'm sweating. I'm actually like shaking. That should do it, that should do it. Now, let me grab that. All right. He shouldn't be grabbed now. I'm just gonna give him a, a tap. There we go. All right, Owen should be safe. He shouldn't die again. He shouldn't despawn, because he's name tagged. All right. That was stressful. I actually thought 
when I started getting rid of the netherrack, I was dead. Now, I need to remember to put a piece of water right here. Look at all them endermen waiting for us. This is what it was supposed to be like. All right, three, two, one. There we go, look at that. Look at all that XP. And they won't stop dropping either. Look at all that XP that we're getting. That is so much better than the skeleton farm. Wasn't quite enough to get us to 67, but oh my god, the back. We're never gonna, it's safe to say we're never gonna have to worry about ender pills ever again. Or XP. This will do us fine for the rest of the season. And then get a minute, and they'll all be back. So let me put all these ender pills in here and... What? They're already all back? That is mad. Let's go, champ. Looks like Owen is earning his wages. Now, like I said, I'm going to go AFK here for a bit, see what level I can get to maybe hit level 100 for the first time this season. Repair all of my tools, which shouldn't take too long, considering how much XP this thing is producing right now. So much more effective than the AFK fish farm and the skeleton farm. But yeah, I'm going to go AFK. That means that that is it for the episode. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, then please give it a like. If you enjoy similar content to this, then consider subscribing because I do post three times a week. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.